Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson, and you're not. Another person that's also not me is Will Crosby. William? If you can hear me, I just lost everything. So let me... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by everything? <laughs> like your parents, your family, loved ones, possessions? All right, um, Will's, Will's doing something, but um, today's a special day, folks. We're doing the Neo Geo Mini. Uh, it's going to be kind of, I don't want to say a thrown together stream, but there's a way to do this proper, and it's basically an edited multi-camera video. But we're not doing that. We don't think this deserves that much special treatment. It's a quarantine. Things are lazy. So um, let me just show it to you. Yeah, I, I'm back. Sorry. I updated my Windows volume, and it I had to refresh it in Discord. Oh, wow. Okay, so let me let me unplug the HDMI and show you what this looks like. You ready? So this is it. Um, so you can see it's got a little joystick. This is the the controller that I have to use unless you buy another controller for twenty bucks, and I didn't think that was worth it. So um, it has a mini HDMI port, which yes does exist, and yes is as stupid as it sounds. It's maybe three millimeters slimmer than a normal HDMI port. Um, headphone out, and then USB C is plugged in. Let me power it up and show you what it looks like. Don't worry, we will be getting HDMI out from this eventually. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Let me get you a little zoom in there. Oh, isn't that playing. nice? If I hold my hands up to the screen, it looks like I'm playing. Ooh, that's... Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so let me turn it off. Um, let's kick it over to the game view. And uh, there we go. Let's see if we can get this working. I have gotten it working before. Um, I Honestly, the bigger question is, Will, what do you think this camera angle is with one camera? I, I, would, I, think this I, was, I was thinking maybe like behind the cabinet low angle so you get my face and my hands. What do you think? Just as long as it's not your feet. Oh, let me get you all the feet. Oh, let me just... <laughs> Let me get you all of the feet right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Oh, God. What's that lump? Oh, oh, God. Oh, you know what? Let's see if I can just get some distance there. Oh, that's that's close, isn't it? What do you think? Oh, God. I love, I love that this is on stream. I love it. That's close. It just needs to be lower. You would not believe the squats I'm doing on this Joby over here. Hot. Hot squats. Hot squats. Hot, hot, hot squats. Oh, no. Okay, wait. There we go. Nope. Uh, that's a lie. It's like I need it to be on the ground, but angled upwards. You know what? Okay, all right. You know what? This is just part of it. Um, How's your audio stuff going over there? It's good. I was just, you know, when it, we've been bouncing back between Skype and... Uh, Discord lately, and it just reminded me how like Discord's able to do what they do because it's so they don't use a lot of bandwidth. But man, the audio quality on Discord is not great. Yeah, it definitely takes a hit. Okay, I say right. like ten percent of the time you are robot and scratchy. I am. It's, yeah, but it's not you. I think it's just Discord. Yeah, that is a maybe little weird. Maybe it's okay. my headphones. I don't think it's. I don't think it's because the weird thing is you don't sound scratchy to me. Okay, all right, folks, we're getting so close. See, look, I have it on a little box here. Oh, 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 oh! Wait a minute. That's pretty good. Oh, let me see if I can get it higher. Now take me higher. Bring me a higher. Bring me a higher love. Bring me a higher love. Do, 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 I always do, think do, bring do. me a tighter glove. Oh, I, I brought a whole Kleenex box, but I realized I could just do this. <gasps> Is that it? Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe just a smidge up. Good? Or do you think a little bit higher on this? No, I think it's... What's the, what's the, the port on the side there? That's the controller port right here. Oh, controller port. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think it's Is a USB-C. USB 
Um, give me a second. I got to turn your audio up because, boy, I can't hear what you're saying. No, I was far away from my microphone. That's my fault. Um, spent, I just spent five minutes untangling headphones to test them and uh -huh. their freaking iPhone lightning. Hey, you ever thought about giving up Apple products? <laughs> because you should. Uh, why? They're uh, overpriced. They're way too proprietary. They're not consumer friendly. Just kind of bad overall. Well, not bad yeah, overall. They have I the think best I, CPU. Is it the best processors on the market? Well, it's not that they're the best processors on the market. They definitely have the most efficient OS, hands down. But I think they have the fastest. That's like why it's so like not fast, but you know what I mean. Quirky and responsive is because. They have the best chip. Forget what no, chip it is. No, no, I don't. I don't think that's right. It's not because they have the best chip, because they're just using, for the most part, except for the iPhones, they're, they're not using super high performing chips. It's just that they have so much control because of how proprietary it is. So they've like built built it for efficiency and speed, which they have. It's just that uh, that's kind of the trade off in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like. Uh, Tesla's Tesla's give you a whole bunch of stuff and they actively update it via software but the trade off is you can basically never do repairs on your car. <laughs> yeah. Um okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with an iPhone. I'm so let me it. let me do this. I think we're almost there, folks. Let me turn on that. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh, huh. Okay, it's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna deactivate it and activate it again, because I want to capture this this intro section. Here you didn't go. watch any of my stream yesterday, did you? I think I watched maybe a minute of it. I keep getting that when you plug in your Elgato, which input do you use? You mean on the PC? On in OBS. Oh, that sounds good. Um, it's a video capture. No, no, I know that, but there's the Elgato HD01, and then there's the Elgato uh, HD... Uh, I use 01. I, I usually use the other one because 01 never works for me, because even though I know 01 supposed to be it... I mean, hey, whatever works for it running. All right, so I think, I think we're good. Um, oh, wow, this is not in alphabetical order is it but i need to i think what i need to do is uh sorry folks just give me a second i'm trying to figure out what screen i want to put this on for me because daddy need it boom there we go okay so let's go into some settings up here let's see what we got english default screen I mean, I definitely want this one. Uh, so I'll show you this in game. They have this image quality optimization. Ooh. And it's like, it does almost nothing. I'll show it to you. All right, let's just start right. with some Metal Slug here. You ever played any uh, Neo Geo games? Yeah, uh, I like Metal Slug. I played some Wind Jammers. There's a, there's a, um, my barcade in town. Neo Geo Captain. Metal Slug! Okay, so. Okay. Got it. Um, so I want to do. I just want to show you the image quality real quick. Okay, so you see the image quality. That is quality on. So that's quality off. Can you can you kind of tell the difference? Yeah, like this is like grainy pixelated. And then 
this one is grainy smooth. Oh, this is what freaking... It's, uh, it's bad. It's not good. This is what Symphony of Night, Symphony of the Night goes on Xbox 360 Arcade. And it was so gross. It looks so much better than just the I know, but it's, the problem is... The... Yeah, go ahead. This effect is the same thing that Animal Crossing does to the art. Yes. Yeah, hundred um, percent. It's just uh, even the. I mean, you may not be able to tell because of the, the internet transfer, but this isn't even a clean pixel image. It's it's like badly upscaled. You know what I mean? It's not good. It's not even like a good. Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Let's play a couple things. Oh god, this feels good. Oh, it's a rock. Oh! I didn't know I could knife people. Flame shot! Flame shot! Flame shot! Man, I keep acting like I'm on camera. Thank you. Pick my nose. Good. Oh no. How does, it, how does it feel? Um, you know, the controls don't feel bad. It's actually not bad for a mini arcade cabinet. I honestly don't mind the controls. I'm having more trouble with. Um, I, I think this is how the Neo Geo was. Where. Is that a teddy bear? Where, um. The, there's four buttons. And they're just like in a two by two, slightly staggered pattern, and it's not immediately clear what is A, B. I don't know if it's C, D, or X, Y. If that makes sense. Like the button layout is not great. Okay, that's uh, Metal Slug. I like Metal Slug, but my uh, my favorite way to play Metal Slug is uh, like a hundred million, because it's just fun to play through. It's not fun to stress about. Oh my God, there's five of them in here, right? One, two, X, three. Oh, there's six of them in here. Uh, let's hop to the latest. Metal Slug 5, Punished Slug. I just always thought... Oh, that was... I always thought Metal Slug had good animation. I'm not on camera, right? You can't see that? No, you're not on camera. Don't worry. Okay, good. I can't see that. I hope you get it, though. Oh, uh, I am... I I'm on it. Oh, you're on it. I pulled out a really gr gross nose hair that I was, like, growing up in the corner, like, in the middle arch of my nose. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot. Oh, I gross. showed up the Kleenex. Kleenex that I was deliberately avoiding. Okay. That's gross. Oh, I'm never touching my nose again. Would you say you're never touching my monitor again? You're Neo Geo. Oh, let's do this guy. Theo. Theo. Rhymes with Neo and Geo. All right, look, nothing against Contra, but this is like cool Contra. You know what I mean? You ever play uh, Bro yeah, Force? Contra came out on the. That's true. That yes. Uh, I have not played Bro Force. Oh, Broforce is amazing. We should play that. It's really good. It's basically like a Contra, but it's, uh, I don't want to say shorter levels, but it's just like you're picking a level on an overworld map and stuff. Um, and there's a lot of like, there's like, I'm trying to think like, there's like a, Rambo, which is like unlockable characters, and one of them's like Rambo, and one of them's like Blade, one of them is Neo, and they all have special yeah, no, weapons. Did we stream that one time? I'm pretty sure I watched you play that. Maybe we played it during a stream or something? Yeah. It's maybe. really good. Um, man. Totally something I was going to talk about. I forget what it was. Can you look up when the Neo Geo came out? Good thing. Oh, this is a woman. A 
thought it was just a weird looking journalist guy. Oh, you didn't know you were playing a hot babe? Not until I heard that sweet, sultry scream of death. <laughs> the Neo Geo was first released April 26, 1990 in Japan, and later August of the same year in North America. Yeah, I know the Neo Geo was famously expensive, but I 100% understand the price now. If you got this in 1990 on your TV, man, that's fantastic stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, I gotta turn you up again because you're. Yeah, the 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 arcade machine. Actually, I don't know when the home console launched. Let me check that. I'm looking at the arcade. The Let MD, me. Is it what's called? Turn down voice meter a little bit because. Turn, turn down my desktop. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let's play some King of the Monsters. This also has a lot of fighting games. I'm not a big fighting game fan, to be honest with you. If you're just joining, this is what we're playing, the little Neo Geo. Look at that little cutie. Japan! Far future! 1996. 1991. So this is basically competing against SNES, right? Or was SNES early 90s? Um, SNES was... Oh, 92 or something? Maybe 90? SNES was 91. Okay, so this is contemporaneous with SNES. Okay, I'm just trying to see when it... Oh, here we go. Tokyo! So, the, the home console of the uh, Neo Geo was uh, 91. So, same thing. But it retailed for 649. Wow, what's. $1,220. That is way too much. I mean, I could see rich people doing that, but it's just, come on now. Sorry, its debut price was $5.99, and then the American launch debuted as the gold system at six. No, it's like, what is, wait, what is SNES? Wow. Uh, you want to guess what the Super Nintendo sold for compared to this? Wait, 599 Neo Geo. Okay, and we're doing launched lights price at the time. I'm gonna go launched 299. 199. Wow. What's that? An inflation? That's what? 400? 373. That's not bad. That's very easy. Ooh, there's some early concept designs here. You wanna come up here? I don't understand. I'm fighting the city and the monsters. I don't understand. I'm fighting the city and the monsters. This makes me want to play Rampage. Rampage is good. This makes me want to play Earth. I have verified the throw button. Nice. Oh, that's Tokyo Tower. Cool stuff, folks. All right. There are 40 games on here. King of the Monsters 2. Sengoku 3 Magician Lord. Yes, please. Hi, welcome to Neo Geo Max 330 Mega Pro Gear Spec SNK. Magician Lord. Little Magician Lord. Shoot, shoot. Oh, this guy, he's not even, not even that little. The following is a story of fantasy. Once upon a time, a giant evil descended on the peaceful land of Cadillac. This young hero defeated the demons using various coins of magic at last until he sealed up with Gal Gadot and Arizona, the gods of destruction. <laughs> he did. Oh, that was really quick there. That's really bad. Gal Gadot is not weak enough to be enclosed by the ancient seal forever. 
Didn't be funny. Hi, stream oh, mom. Hi, stream mom. <laughs> Yo, I banged this guy. He looks pretty good. Oh, Gal Gadot good. looking good. Um. Okay. Yep. Uh, just gonna skip. Put a comment here. Ian, yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Why are you so broke? It's like you don't even know me. Okay, I got my two buttons. Hey, I was looking through tabletop simulator stuff today. And yeah. We want to play a bunch of board games. Yeah. Totally. I'm up for it. We could also do one-off streams of that, or just play with friends and stuff. We gotta That's pick true. out Fiasco. How about you look up some Fiasco stuff while we're streaming and we'll pick out the scenario yes. for Saturday. I will do that. Yes! Second thing, I remember the thing I was gonna tell you. Did you see my messages on this? I did. Um, we should test that out. I agree. Uh, I got it working. Really? But yeah, I got it working. I, I didn't have a second computer to test it. But there's e it's either you do peer to peer or there's a server based in New York City. Oh, and you can just run. As in somebody else has a server and you just connect to it. Yeah. Okay. But it yeah. would does it require each person to have their own computer? Uh, I believe so. I think you have to have a Okay. But we could just do something. Similar. Yeah. And there's a bunch of like cheats and stuff and things that like make the game go faster, which is totally really awesome. And it's all of them. Well, oh, at least I don't think it's the Switch one, but it's all the N64 and GameCube ones. I'm talking around. Them. We don't want to overpromise. Whoa! I have like I'm like dragon for it now. But I had to join a Discord server. To get at. That sounds awesome. Pictures of my junk. Okay, we all know you're a magician, Lord. We defeated Gal Gadot. Look, I'm Sonic again. Great stuff, folks. Can we do the Beast of Sucker Creek? <laughs> the planet Ragu, but since the... Wait, where's all the tomato sauce? <laughs> I wonder if this is running too fast and that's why it's... What? What is happening? Are these I don't know, are they like, what do they call it? Russian nesting dolls? Hi, Gramps. Bye, Gramps. Fuck, oh, I kind of like this. You pick up your enemies and then you throw them. Let's see if I mess this up. Oh, I almost did. Oh, wow, this, this is, oh no, it doesn't let you go down. Hi. Oh my goodness, look at how many I have on my head right now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna skip the fruit just so I can go. Oh, and then they get rid of them permanently. So you gotta throw them to get rid of them. Do you want to do a place at where we're biking? No. There's Big Bang. <laughs> oh my god. No. God. It's so bad. It'd be really bad. Oh, it's a Batman one. That's cool. <laughs> Shop. Let's go shopping. Hi. Oh, what's your name? When do you get off work? Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Whoa. Guess who's got nuts? Daddy's oh, got the, nuts. The cult <laughs> the one about? Uh, what's it called? Cult No, I forget the one I was talking about. I think it was called like Rainbow Cult or something. Uh, oh no, this is pretty good. 
kind of like this. Whoops. Exit. What's shock. Next? Shock. 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 Controller's going a little wonky there. Shock Troopers. Second Squad. Shock Troopers. Shock Second troopers. Squad. Mm. Yeah, let's go 40. <laughs> There's one that takes place in like a TV news station. There's another one that takes place in a high school. There's another one that takes place in like an evangelical news station, an evangelical TV station. Select soldiers. Oh my God! Will look at this screen. Ooh, oh, oh, ooh! Ice brain toy. He's cool. Oh, He's cool. What about a haunted porno? PG-13, baby. Porno is PG-13. No, you watch it when you're 13. Doesn't mean it's PG-13. Oh, this is kind of... Whoa! You see my special? No, I'm like... like top down... Uh, metal Gear? Metal Slug? I always say Metal Gear. Because you're dumb. I mean, obviously. Ian, is it because you're dumb? Obviously. I think that's the most I can blow up cars, too. Oh, no, wait. I think I was supposed to follow directions. Whoa. Oh, there's the last one. The last Christmas in a pair. Didn't, isn't that what, uh... Oh, no, they didn't. Because that one's, they're stuck in a pair. They, they did one there where they were, like, at LaGuardia or something. Uh, maybe he just switched it. Maybe your butt can't handle it, man. My butt's gone through a lot, boy. More than you'll ever know. Just take it out. Mission to Mark. There's one that takes place like on a space station or something. What genre? How about we? How about we figure out what genre? Deliberate comedy? Do we want like sci-fi, action, mystery? I really, I'm just waiting for one that you know really jump out. Of ah! I, I was gonna get in that tank, but I don't know how. What about one oh. that takes place in a museum? Like a night at the museum? Yeah, it's a busy day at the Portland Science History Space and Time Institute. Research projects are coming to a head. Important artifacts are going missing. Investors are visiting. Do you see? Do you see this? Wait, real quick. You, you gotta watch this for a bit. No, there's there's instances where the tank flips out. Oh, I yeah, never mind. It was like phasing oh, yeah. out, and I think it's I think it's when it does a quick flicker. If your emulator can't handle it properly, then you just disappear. The sprite disappears instead of oh, like that. Oh yeah, your character. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I feel like that happens on a lot of like Jeff Gerson streams, but he doesn't yeah. notice it because it, it happens through the video signal. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that. Like the OSSC has some issues with that. If you run the wrong resolution, it'll do that. Oh no, I it's chugging now. It's really I, chugging. Oh, man. I got too much on screen. That's a my, good game, um, folks. My mister had been outputting in 720, so I just upped it to 1080 today. Oh, nice. Boy, does it look good. Robo Army. Robo Army. I thought that was the game. <laughs> that was the game. That was really good. Robo, Robo Army. Army. Robo Army. The well, U.S. forces have really deployed mean. a, quote, robo-army to destroy them. I, I feel like... Robo-army. Um, normal. This, uh, playset's called No Luck At All. Oh, like Bikini At All? yeah. That sounds too depressing of a setting. Folks, what we're talking about is Fiasco, which is a fantastic collaborative storytelling one-shot RPG game. We're going to be playing it Saturday night. 
Um, we had a lot of fun last time, so we're just figuring out what, uh, what, what playset or setting we're going to play this time. You know what we should do? I, I think we should... Well, no, I was going to say we should alternate who chooses the play. Uh, or... I feel like I like yeah, collaborative, I if possible. Yeah, let's... That, that, Ooh, the screen of the space beast. Oh, we could just do like, you know, if we did a sci-fi one, like a sci-fi fantasy, we could just kind of make fun of Star Wars the whole time. It's very on brand for us. Return to the ice. Game's not good. Crossed swords. Sometimes my swords cross. Belkana. Oh, Will, look at this. Oh, this is good. Crossed swords. Disaster in the poor village of Dio. Oh. Now this is some good stuff. Oh my god, he just got... Is that just a rat? Come on, do it. Gotcha. I like that you're like... Yeah, so I can like see. I'm trying to... It's telling me, like, block, how to block. It's like directional blocking, but I'm not quite sure. Okay. Oh, no, that was on the side. I just want to get this block right. There we go. Gotcha. You know, the other thing I did uh, the last time I was going to visit you is I downloaded a bunch. Uh -huh. This isn't for this time, but I downloaded a bunch of those itch.io, like quick art RPGs. It's pronounced itch.io. Sorry, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had a bunch. I think I sent, a, I sent you a bunch that I looked at for tabletop RGB originally. There was, there was some good, uh, was that gnome theme one that seemed really cool? Mutation Nation. This looks like X-Men. It's a mutation nation. Twenty X X. S N K uh, oh slum. Sorry. Slum. Uh, in the okay, year 20XX. The city has become a slum. The experiment uh, that has destroyed the city is a dim memory. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, do you want me to read all these genres in which you choose? Uh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna skip these first genres because it's literally 1910s through 2000s. Oh, that's just... Okay. Yeah. We've got Alien. Ooh, tempting. Let's... Alternate history. Oh, oh, that's tempting. What are you doing? Are you I'm making a list? Already. Are you making a list of possible genres? Uh, yeah, I was going to. I think, I think definitely alternate history. Okay. Just like Street Fighter. Alternate Street history. History. Then we got Animals. That guy's got weird shoulders. I love him. He's cute. Oh, he rolls. Look at his cool elf shoes. I can't look at him. He's cool elf shoes. <laughs> so cute. 
Hey, no touching. Gotcha. Ooh. He done gooed himself. Gooed himself all over. That's not gooed. You're fine. I'm talking about I own this website. I'm the sheriff around these interwebs. You own YouTube? <laughs> I do. Why else do you think I got the money to pay for this? Hey, Neo Geo, guess how much I paid? $30. That's correct. Guess how much it the MSRP for this is? 129. Oh, I think it's 120. Very close. Dang. So gotcha. Beat them up. I I done beat them. I beat them all up, y'all. You, you beat beat them up. Three count bow. Three count bow. Um, definitely alternate history. What if we did? Oh no, I was gonna say civil war, but we can't keep that appropriate. Um, that's awful. Can't keep that appropriate. Maybe not. It's true. Time. We couldn't. Okay. So I I went to the alternate history one. There's only two. Okay. The what Reaping Games, which looks like a Hunger Games now knockoff. We start the that's not reaping. alternate history. Uh, that's not a bad. Well, and then there's one entirely in left. Let's do that one. So let's skip alternate history. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the whole club. <laughs> Gurvy bastards and grim disasters. Oh. I'm G Big Bomb. Whoa, that hurt. Daddy no likey. What's my safe word? What's our safe word? Uh, keep going. King of Fighters, 95. Hey, thanks, Ninjaneer. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thanks for the raid. We're playing um, Neo Geo Mini. Mean? It means they're they're taking all their pan their their viewers and raiding our channel with their viewers. It's a Twitch thing. Oh. So we got five extra viewers. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Just stream mom. This looks better than the last WD dub. <laughs> the nice stream brought to you by Corona and COVID. <laughs> oh man. I never played no. How do you feel about the, how do you feel about them there? Uh, how do you, uh, you gotta pick that guy. Oh, I'm just smashing buttons. Let me just start. This is how. Oh, oh, see, I only beat schoolgirls. You gotta put that uniform back on, honey. Uh, how do you feel about fighters? Uh, fighting game? Yeah, Ninjaneer says he's just getting into into fighters. I, I've never seen Ninjaneer. That's what I want to do. Evolve past button. I, I never understood what anything ever means in those games. I heard the Dragon Ball Z Fighters, or Dragon Ball Fighters, is the best game. Like, it's not the best game, but like it's the best good intro. At, like, getting you into that stuff. So I bought that, like, forever ago when I was very... I wasn't very drunk. I was a little bit drunk. Um, but I, I've installed it, and I've yet to touch it. Hey, no touching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Not, not to this Saturday. But there is a place that called Road Trip. 
and we should play that while road tripping in Euro Truck oh. oh, I thought you meant like in real life road tripping. I mean that too, but we can't because we're recording. Lee! Did I tell you that Parsley game? Uh, Karen and I played that on my last trip. It was genuinely fun. The what? It's the, uh, you remember that Parsley game I bought at, uh, Pet Wait, isn't it called Parse? Did you say Parsley? It's called Parsley. Parse what? Parsley. Like, Parsley the plant, but it's spelled Parsley. Like, to be funny. Alright. Ninja, he bought a newish fighting game called Undernight Inbirth Super Anime. I've heard the anime fighting games are good. Isn't that the game with like the super long title? It's like Underbirth, Inbirth, Undernight Inbirth, EXC201147. Oh, I don't know, you want to look it up? Yeah, that sounds like a good joke. Uh, Stream Mom says fighting game that got him past butt mashing was uh, Schoolgirls. I've heard, I've heard really good things about Schoolgirls. I know somebody who uh, was uh, an animator on School Girls. School Girls. <laughs> Not a joke, folks. Again, stream brought to you by Corona. Yeah, I love oh, School sorry. Girls. It's Undernight in Birth EXE colon late bracket CL dash R close bracket. Yeah, if you could get it right, please. Sorry. Um, anyways, Ian. I was, before you messed with me, that game I bought called Parsley. Uh -huh. uh, basically, uh -huh. one person is one person's the computer and the other person is playing a text adventure. And so they have to say the things in the right way, like, I open or open door, use item. And, like, they even have to, like, save the game. That's really cool. Anyway, I played it, but... Good. Physics? Yeah, that's good. This guy's cool. I wish I could play with you. Who's new? I also wish but, I could play versus. But? But? His name is Butt? His name is Butt? Y'all can't see it on the stream. His name's Butt. It just said Butt X Terry. Butt? You know, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that real quick because Daddy can. Hi, my you name is Daddy, butt? and I can. Hi, Daddy. Get a game capture. Unlock Ooh, it. This plays on. Uh, this takes place at like a racetrack, like down. A down. A down. Oh, you mean like a a horse down? Is that what that's called? Maybe. Our stream mom says, uh, people want to have to be in such a clear, if I remember. Uh, okay. I've uh, heard good things about King of Fighters, so definitely worth trying, I would say. Okay, sorry, folks, I'm just fixing this. Boom! There we go. A little bit better. Okay. Um. Yeah, his name is Kush Kush Nud Butt. Oh, Terry Bogart. Terry Bogard? Why does that sound so familiar? Isn't he in Smash? Terry Bogard. He is in Smash. He's from Street Fighter, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Or is he from King of Fighters? Where are you seeing Terry Bogard? At the top of the screen. Under the health bars. Cush Mud Butt. Terry Bogard. I don't. This isn't King of Fighters. What is it? I don't know, I, know I, thought, I thought you were playing King of Fighters. Dream Mom, I think you're right. He's just being difficult. Don't give him attention. 
Give me attention. I love it. So I'm not on camera because I'm doing whatever you want. Get pretty good at this button mashing. Ooh, Terry is not from King of Fighters. No, I, I only said that because I was confused because I thought you were still playing King of Fighters. This is uh, Garu, Mock of the Wolves. Samurai Showdown. Let's do it. Sam oh. Show. Two, four, five. Uh, let's play five. Okay, Ian, do you want to know the, the fiascos I've done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we've got Fiasco on the Disoriented Express. Yes, did that one. Okay. We've got Fiasco Return to the Ice, which looked like a play on the thing, except this is talking about like you're going to watch the thing at this polar base. I it looked cool. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's defining the plot too much for me. I mean, it's not. I'm just. Re I'm just trying to remember what. Oh my. Yeah. yeah. Um, then there's the first contact, which you get a signal from mm -hmm. space. And then I've also downloaded the last frontier, which looks like a hatchet situation. You've ever read that book? No. Where you fall out of an airplane in the Canadian wilderness. Okay, that's that's. Stupid. Next one, please. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I've got that new channel six. See, that one looks right. Buddy, that hurt me. I don't appreciate it, quite frankly. I can see why people like this. This is pretty cool. It's got some scary stuff in it. Oh! I was watching uh, an old UPF today, and they were playing that PS... I don't know if it's anywhere else, but that PS1 game where you, like, one hit and the guy dies. Mm -hmm. Can't think of the name of it. Uh, but that fighting game looked like a lot of fun. Oh, um... Isn't it called, like, Kick? Punch Kick? One Kick? You know what I'm talking about? One kick dive one. Kick. Dive Kick. Not, no, not dive kick. Like the, it's a PS one. Oh, dive kick. Terry but is from Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury. Do you know what other PS one game they played? Is the one we played on the scan lines for the PlayStation Recent Classic. Game. The guy with the weird knife hands. Yes, I yeah. don't remember that. I think that was. Uh, not uh, literally just have the name Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, why am I beating up a woman and why do I love this game so much? No, oh, sorry, what? That was too far. I apologize. Sometimes you just know you're not funny and then you just make jokes that don't make sense. This is weird, it's like Western Samurai. <laughs> the guy in the background has a top hat on. <laughs> How do I... I mashed buttons, because I just want to finish my max power. Oh. Come here, I know I can beat you. Oh, Battle Arena Crescendo. Yes, that's right. And Bushido Blade is the one where you kill each other. In one. World Hero is perfect. I like this mini console. It's one of my favorites because... I always feel like I buy these to play the games, but in reality, I don't really play the games more than once. But I love that um, this one looks like an arcade cabinet, so I can have it out of the box on display. Yeah. I still want to know what those arcade cabinets behind that person on the Xbox are. You should look it up. Who was that guy again? I yeah, forget his name. Uh, Philip. Player, Philip. But. 
Uh, how'd you... Uh, yeah, sorry, stream on. I saw that too late. Um, uh, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater, 1 plus 2. How are you feeling about it? Oh, okay. I remember playing those games. I, if they're cheap enough, I might play them again. Yeah, I think it's 40 at launch, which is not that price. I, I don't know if I'm the only one thinking this or it's just stupid, but I saw the trailer and they were talking about remastering it, and I was like, part of me wanted them to remaster it by just up resing all the textures, not Yeah, the yeah, that and I thought that would be good. I think uh, it looks good, but here's my problem with it. There, there were some levels, like the high school and stuff, where they they just put a, like a yellow-brown filter on top of everything. So like the high school used to be like gray walls, blue rails and stuff, and then they showed the comparison screenshot and it was just all yellow and brown. And I'm worried that the remaster is gonna fall too much into that like modern aesthetic in a way that takes away a lot of the charm and color, you know? So that's my concern. You, like that it's gonna go too far towards realism. And in doing so, lose a lot of that new character. So. Oh, I did it! Oh. That worked. That was quarter circle forward. It just wasn't next to me, but I did it. Oh! He tooed me. Oh, that's... Good stuff. Um, that looked like fun. Kazuna Encounter Super Tag Battle. Um, I'm trying to think of the other fiascos that I've heard. I'm looking up. I'm looking up like people's favorites. <gasps> There's one at a wedding. I think it's called like Regina's wedding. And it's just a bunch of people getting together for a wedding. So there's like the groom, there's like his parents, there's like the old high school flame, there's like the pregnant bride and all this stuff. And it, that one may be good. Um, I don't mean to riff off of what you were saying earlier, but there is an escape from Cloud City. And it's Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah, let's look up all the Star Wars ones because... I I just want to make fun of Star Wars right now. Yeah, that sounds good. I gotta I gotta that. Yeah, I mean worst case we do three again. Okay, so there's uh, as far as the website fiasco forward slash genre of Star Wars. Uh, uh -huh. There's Escape from Cloud City. Got there it. is Jedi Purge. There is Lord Dumit Dumicus and his giant battle plan. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's take a look at that one because that sounds like that is the tone we're, stri we're striking. For. Okay, you want me to read this? Uh, yeah, read a little bit long. Right? That like intro page? Yeah. The Insurgent Alliance continues to strike back at the Universal Commonwealth as a means of total retaliation. As a means of total retaliation, Lord Dumicus devises the ultimate weapon to crush his enemy, his giant battle planet. His giant battle planet has the power to rip stars apart and crush planets. Along with his elite cloned battalions of lightning squads, Lord Dumicus can change the shape of galaxies both politically and physically, but mostly physically. He likes the physical stuff. <laughs> his ability to tap into the quiet energy all around us to perform acts of deadly telekinesis has no equal. His military leadership has no peers. Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that? It's the quiet. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this already. You can continue talking now. His training and use of ancient art of the Neon Saber is unheralded, but 
it is his giant battle planet that will be known as the crowning achievement for Lord Dumicus once it becomes fully operational. Fortunately, unfortunately, to run an operation the size of his giant battle planet, it requires a lot of people in the background to run and maintain it. Nameless IT contractors who need to keep the, th the through space wireless data transfer system up and running, dissatisfied pencil pushers who need to get the cost overruns down by cutting a corner or two, the thankless latrine cleaners, the bored meat drones who need to count the bolts every other day to ensure the hull is stable, guys and gals who don't really care about the military implications of what they're doing, it's just a stupid underpaid job to them. We crank with cramped, shared pod rooms and paper-thin walls that refuse to muffle the horrid dubstar music on the pod room next door. This is their story. This is a place that includes a custom tilt table for, Len for when Lord Dumicus arrives on the station for a surprise visit to see how the construction progresses. That's I will download that. I, I, I feel like that's a strong contender. How are you feeling? I think it's a strong contender. Okay. I think that's our Star Wars option. What about other genres? That was pretty good. I think I'm getting good at fighters now. Let's play top players golf. Blazing through these games. Probably helps there's a lot of like sequels. Like there were six or seven versions of King of Fighters. True. Stroke play, match, or Nassau game? What is Nassau game? David Fusiyama. Masashi Kurazaki. Hubert Belger. Jack Stadel. I like that stash, boy. I don't know what... Do you need a caddy? Yes, I need a caddy. Left side of fairway is safer because of river on right, but try to keep ball on oh, right side well, of fairway gross. for easier second shot to green. Okay. Right side of the fairway. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Like right You're poorly. Okay, let's see if I can... Jackpot, right in the water. Got it. Okay. Ooh, DC 73. What about one about MAGA? Is there a MAGA one? Is there a MAGA one? Let me check. There's one that takes place in Florence, 1559. Oh. You know, Maggie has been watching a lot of Medici. What about Dragon Slayer? That's like a D and D one. The bumpkins in this pissant mountain town can never take down that dragon. Oh, that's not a bad shot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not great. And yes, we're heroes. Those yokels should worship at our feet. Make sure as hell didn't slay the dragon. Oh, you know what? Let's 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 put that on the list because I could see that where it's like <laughs> I could see a lot of stuff. Unless you're bringing us ale and whores, get the f out before we transform into <laughs> That's a that's a good one. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm downloading it. Okay, get me on that green. Honestly, we should download all the ones we like and then just put it in like a random one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Although, but we want to make this this screenshot beforehand. You want to make the screenshot for this one, or should I? Uh, I'll let you do it. Hmm. That's a good point because I already have the fiasco font. Yep. But we should probably try to pick tonight. Oh, I farted. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm so farting. Long kicks and shooting, beat a pass. Got it. Oh. Am I... Okay, let's see if we can name these. Germany, Italy, Spain, Japan. What? No, no, I didn't pick, I didn't pick one. How dare you? How dare you? 
How dare you? Apologies, folks. Okay, let's see. Germany, Italy, Spain, Japan. I think this is Mexico. What was that? It just auto picks when you get to like Sweden. Or game. That's weird. England versus Mexico. Let's party. Kick off. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh! Ah. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. That guy just kicked it to his goalie and the goalie picked it up. He can't do that. Yeah, that's against the law. Yeah, like, they'll literally arrest you for that. As they should. Well. Oh no, that was bad. Oh. Throw in. Throw in. Oh. Have you seen this amalgamated fiasco? No, what's that? I, uh, they compiled 24 element categories from 24 different published fiasco sets. Oh, so it just becomes like a crazy mix. Yeah. Oh, such a good shot! Too tense for me. Get it out of the box. Oh. Remember when we played Bill Lambier's combat basketball? Uh, you mean the game of our game? Game was that? Was it? What was the other game that we got way into? Uh, it was uh, Super Puzzle Fighter. Um, I want to say there was another. Wasn't there another like sports game? That we was it a? Maybe it was Bill and Land. We got pretty. Into it. Oh no! Oh, this is... My goalie is pro. Oh, come on. That was such a beautiful shot, too. Oh, why did I... Let me just kick it out of bounds real quick. Oh, but they gave it to me. Count down the timer on me. Oh, I should have shot the ball. Sorry, folks. Uh, getting real into this soccer game over here. So there was one I was trying to find a copy of, and it was the the, the ecclesiastical, like the evangelical. Uh, TV station, but I couldn't find a copy of it. Maybe you could try and find that. I think that's a good, like, replacement in a way. For the, uh... Oh, we switched sides, didn't we? Did we switch sides? We did not switch sides for halftime.
Ah. Come on. Try forking you. And their oh! stuff on the website don't let you stay signed in on the same. Huh. Yeah. Stupid. Kick off. Oh, I got off a nice bicycle kick, but it didn't work. You know what I don't like about soccer? All of it? I mean, not all. Just all of it. that it's a it's a non-contact sport, but like nobody treats it like a con non-contact sport. Such crap. You know what I mean? Oh, I lied. Because I remember I, I would play like rec leagues all the way through, well, through most of high school, and I remember there was definitely a point where like. The kids who were, I want to say, like, probably seventh or eighth grade, the kids who were taking it too seriously and were trying to get on travel teams just started, like, just slamming you around, you know, hip checking you all the time. And the refs never called it. They're like, no, it's okay. It's like, are you kidding me? This is a non contact sport, yet they can come in and just hip check you to the ground. You like that? Yeah, I, I kept getting erections. I had to stop <laughs> playing. <laughs> I was like, ref, look what he's doing to me. Oh, no. The parents were uncomfortable because they're like, why is this 26 year old man out there playing with our kids? Mommy, mommy, that boy's got a goalpost in his pants. Kick off. <laughs> I don't think the kid was saying that. No, they, they said it multiple times. <laughs> mommy. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> Remind me, that boy's got raisinets in his pants. <laughs> oh no. I don't care if it's a foul. Give me a red card. A foul. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. They did like a picture in picture just to show him screaming in pain. <laughs> this is, I feel like I got some really good shots off of this, but. They're just not gonna get it to me. Goalkeeper did some work though. Go! Now shoot it! Oh, crap. Sorry guys, I couldn't win the baseball. I mean, soccer game. Football! Here we go, baby! Football, soccer, here we go! Now that's a good song. Uh, wolves, scuds, pit bulls, cobras, bullets, bisons. Oh, did I ever tell you about the Arizona criminals? No. I'm sorry, the Yuma criminals. So, so okay, so I used to live in Yuma, Arizona. Uh, Yuma, Arizona is in the Ready southwest corner of the state. It had a population of, I think it was a population of like 50,000 when I lived There's there. The really the small town. Quarter. It was five minutes from Mexico, three hours from San Diego, and three hours from Phoenix. So like, right. like we didn't have a Home Depot or a Lowe's. We had a, one Walmart and one Target. That was it. It was just in the middle of nowhere. So there were um, three high schools. Um... I think it was like Kofa, Central, and then Yuma High. And Yuma High was in like the bad part of town. And so one time we went to... Sorry, I'm just looking my... Oh, come on. So one time we went to a, a high school football game at the Yuma Stadium, the Yuma High School Stadium. And, uh, and 
We're sitting in the stands. Remember, this is like kind of the, the rundown part of town. So it's already kind of a rough high school. We're sitting there in the stands and they're about to start the game and they go, ladies and gentlemen, your home team. And then this cop car burst onto the, the field and starts driving around the field and doing like, I don't want to say donuts, but they're like driving in circles in the field. And full sirens on, and it's just wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, and they're like the Yuma criminals, and all this like football team comes out, and they're like, yeah, we're criminals, and the cop car's like chasing them around, and we're just like, oh my god, what? What? That was their mascot, and they like to be chased by cops onto the football field. The the, the car didn't rip up the turf. I no, I guess it was driving slow enough or whatever, or they just didn't care. It was pretty funny. Uh, there was yeah. honestly, there was probably it was either astroturf or like barely any turf because it was literally the desert. Oh boy! Anyways, great story. That was a good story. Oh, uh, I got an interception. The Turnover. Have Love those. Down. They're so tasty. Do a run. Play. What, like a, an apple turnover. Wishbone. Wishbone. Ready? Ready. Give it to D. Oh, you didn't touch me. Wow. Pass play. Give it to see. Problem is, I can't really see the labels in this. Ready? Break. I keep forgetting you're playing on the tiny little oh. oh, you're just. Oh, no, I'm not. The tiny little screen is just showing Neo Geo logo. No, 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 I know that. I, I keep forgetting you're playing on the, the physical tiny... Oh, yeah, yeah. Board. Definitely. Ready? I can't imagine Ready? actually playing. Oh, give me the first down. Fourth and oh, four. You gotta do like a Hail Mary. Oh, I was just gonna run for it. Or you could do that. Wow, there's a lot of plays. I'm gonna do this D. Ready? Do this D. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the skies. Do you know how you get back to them? This? Different game. Yeah, gotcha. Nailed it. Blazing Ooh. Star. What is this? What do you think this is gonna be? I think this is gonna be like an Ikaruga. I think this is going to be like a uh, uh, gradient. Uh, you think it's going to be left to right or uh, bottom to top? Left to right. I'll go bottom to top. You always go bottom to top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. It's left to right. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, I thought you went to a new game. <laughs> oh, no. Get ready. This is another one of those games that I don't want to be good at. I just like being invincible. And... Yeah. Oh, did you see that? The ships flew out of the background. Oh. Like, like the background showed them leaving the ship. Get it. Oh, that's so good. They're coming out of the background. I don't know what kind of like animation or style this is, but I'm a sucker for it. Where it's like clearly higher res, but they still have to turn everything into pixels. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it has some depth to it. Oh, my hand's cramping. I got all of them, right? I'm assuming there's only five. Hey, that's an event I just got. The big one is closing. 
Oh, I can charge. Oh, look at that pig baby oh. boy. That is cool. Yo, I would buy this just for this. Oh, he turned around to blast. Oh! Dude, head off. Get his butt. Get his butt. Get it more. Get it more. Oh. Yeah, I'll continue. Oh. I'll continue. I'll continue. I'll continue. It doesn't count. You didn't see it. I'm, I'm beating this whole game in one life. Yeah, I'll beat it! Beat it. Your skill is great. Oh boy. Yeah, something about that just fired up all cylinders. Yeah, that was cool. What was that called? Blazing Star. What does STG at the bottom mean? Stick uh, gun? I don't, I don't know, maybe standard? Can you like favorite? Mm, no. 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 We'll never know. Last resort. I think one day I'd like to own a Neo Geo and maybe a couple cartridges, but I would never go out of my way. Yeah, like if you found it cheap. Like if we were doing um, a planned show that didn't work out because of the quarantine, and I happened upon one, then mm -hmm. I would buy it. So you already bought one. Got it. Well, the mister can play it, right? Uh, yeah, I, I just don't have the ring. Oh, cardboard. gotcha. I need 120. See, this one just doesn't. I like the guy's one. Yeah. Hey, you know what show I've been watching? Just feel like mentioning it. Altered Carbon on Netflix. Pretty good. I heard it. It's definitely like, it's definitely like 100% cyberpunk. And it's also got more than enough nudity to make up for any flaws. So. Yeah, so it's pretty Nail or Phoenix. You know, I don't think I've seen any male genitalia yet. Definitely seen a lot of female genitalia. Uh, but it's pretty good. Okay, that was last resort. Um, Ghost pilots. Was, oh, so I um I beat Dead Space Two on stream yesterday. Dead Space Two, Dead Space One, and um, since then I have watched both Dead Space movies that came out around the same time. What are they? Uh, the first one. What are they? Animated they... movies. Oh, okay. So Dead Space Downfall, I I kind of enjoyed. It just felt like a really long episode of like a TV show. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really cool. And, but Dead Space Aftermath was so funny. Because it's like this weird, terrible 3D. Like unintentionally funny? Unintentionally funny. It looked like the 3D from uh, Nightmare. Oh. And then the cool thing they did is every time, so it's like a, uh, it's a, it's a four characters retelling a story. So every time a new character told the story, it was a different art style. Mm -hmm. And that part was cool. But it felt like n none of the people discussed what the different art styles should look like. So like all the characters looked completely different. Oh no, that's bad. It was just this, it would like had some cool information about the world of Dead Space and like what lead, cause I wanted to kind of experience what led up to Dead Space 2. Um, and that stuff was cool. Um, I ended up, I was going to play the Wii 
Dead Space game just to, for fun, but I I couldn't get the Wiimote stuff working on my PC, so I just ended up. Is that a is that a, like a different game? Yeah, it's like a on rail shooter. Which is actually cool. It's like about the uh, Ishimura when it first got to the plane. Uh, so Stream Mom has a good theory. The STG may be the original platform that it was on. The game was on. You prefer uh, bottom to top or uh, left to right shooters? Uh, I think left to right. Yeah, I think bottom to top for me. This per oh, it's the type of game. Oh, like action, puzzle, strategy, strategy. I think it's... Sports game. I looked up as a shooting game. That's so weird. Couldn't spell it out. Okay, here it is. is that... Final game. Puzzled. Puzzled? It's 1021. Holy crap, we've been here for too long. We played 40 games tonight. Ish. This game's explosions look like croissants. I don't know what you're referring to, but that's very strange. Hey, well, I feel like we've talked about this before. How do you say that, like, if you walk into a store in New York and you try and order that food item, how do you say it? Croissant. See, I can't... I, in... I know, but I can't bring myself to say that way anymore after having been to France, where, I, like, I know how to pronounce it now. And so it's hard for me to deliberately mangle it. Right, but you're not in France, so you should pronounce it the way it's pronounced in America. Well, no, but the other thing is that, like, croissant is how they pronounce it in American. I, I have trouble saying croissant. I either say crescent or croissant. Crescent now. is a different... A crescent roll is different from a croissant. I, I agree, but for me to say croissant or crescent... Cr cres like, I, I have trouble saying the bad American pronunciation, if that makes sense. I have I trouble mispronouncing it now. If you say it croissant in most places, you'll probably just be like, I agree. oh, I see what you I, I agree, but the problem is I literally can't. I str oh, how, do you, how do you say it? <laughs> croissant? Croissant? I, croissant. I just... Uh, oof, too much. Oh, look at this. So I, I played this a little bit earlier. So it's Tetris, but they're... They're like challenge Ooh. levels. Um, Stream Mom, great point. Why not just have the full genre name? Uh, because they're dumb. Um, the only thing I could see in my internet search is it seemed like that's how the Neo Geo code originally labeled oh. the, uh, the game. Because I found a post from 2003 on a website that said, what is blah, 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 STG? Gotcha. And I think that's what happened. Listen, so I'm not is... saying croissant right. I'm just saying it's less of a uh, like dickish thing to say. <laughs> no, no, I, I understand. Is. And that's that's why I'm asking, because I feel like a dick when I say it. You know what game I want to play is... Um, do you ever play Tetris Effect? No. Oh, that's right. You've never played a Tetris game. I... I... Uh, I that was not intentional. I just forgot how ridiculous you are. I'm not ridiculous. I, did, I said I've never, like, I've never owned and played a Tetris game. I've played, like, Tetris mini games. I've played, like, one or two rounds of Tetris, but I've never sat down and played Tetris. Uh, what I was going to say before you went on your rant is, uh, what was I going to say? Um, I want to play Tetris Effect. Now that I have VR. I never finished Half-Life Alex, and honestly, I was a little underwhelmed by it because it seemed like it was turning into a horror game and that's all it was gonna offer. Where it was just like, go through a dark space and solve some puzzles and get Personal occasional jump stairs and stuff, you know? There we go. We killed him. No, I don't kill him. They have to be free. Streamon loves Tetris Effect. Yeah, I'm t I, I really want to play it in VR. Because it's on PC now, so... I think I would... 
Yeah, maybe I'll buy it. I've always wanted to play it. How about you just wait? I love buying it. Whoa, nice T spin. Alright, these controls are off. This is not gonna end well. Right. I was watching. Uh, uh, wouldn't let me tease about that. An old stream, and they were playing uh, Battle, like Super Battle Tetris. Oh, thing. that game's crazy. Which Damn. is like only in Japan. It only came on the, out on the Japanese uh, SNES. Looks like a butt ton of fun. These controls, in uh, my defense, are pretty bad. No defense. Ow! Oh. I have to, I don't, well, I guess I can't hold it. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us here tonight. Um, a lot of fun on this little mini console here. I'll put it right there for you. Um, Will, did yeah. you? Oh, Streamlabs says I should try and give that Half-Life VR game another shot. I think I will. I think I'm about halfway through. Maybe I'll fire it up. I haven't done VR in a while. The problem is the VR games that really resonate with me are the ones that give you freedom to move around a space and kind of play like Pavlov, which is kind of like a Counter-Strike VR. But the problem is if I have the freedom to move around with the, with the joystick, then I get motion sick after about 30 minutes. So it's like... You know what? Uh, I'll tell you after this, but uh, my mm -hmm. former roommate... Also, former coworker and current coworker, George, has VR, and he mm -hmm. has been playing. I can't remember the name of it. It's like Wings of Asgard or something, and he will not shut up about it's it. It's like a Viking VR game. He says of? it's the most. Granted, he's prone to hyperbole. Uh, he said it's the most fun he's ever had in a video. So you should I've, check it out. I've heard good things about that one. Yeah, so I should probably check that out. So I'm I'm excited to get back into VR. Um, it's just, uh, the games I really want to play like Pavlov VR and even Half-Life Alex, I get, I can only really play it for 30 to 45 minutes at a time. Um, but anyways, um, we are Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. What's a recent video we put out? I don't even watch our stuff. Do you watch our stuff? <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't. I think the problem is like. I watch some like, of Jake's stuff when he's got like a good point that I'm interested in, but yeah. like, I don't care about Bionicle, so I didn't watch it. I think the problem is I don't watch a lot of game videos on YouTube anyways. YouTube is just like a constant DIY channel for me, pretty much. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of analysis stuff anymore. Yeah. Even um, I, like, write a little. But anyways, we've got fantastic stuff. I will tell you what, I've got a video coming out. Should be coming out next Monday. It's edited by Jake, as always. Fantastic job. But I'm the writer and the VO on it, and it's about the perfect game demo, my favorite game demo of all time red faction it's fantastic stuff actually i should probably play that and capture some footage right after this but either way fantastic game highly recommend it highly recommend the demo as well just a great time we are subpixelfilms.com if you go there that'll take us right to our youtube channel uh please 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 subscribe like comment hit that notification bell whatever you can do if you've made it this far in the video then you've enjoyed it in some way and by interacting with our channel, be it subscribing, following, liking, commenting, it tells us that our content is worth watching. And it also tells the big, bad algorithm gods that our content is worth putting in front of other people. Um, you can find our PR accounts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Mixer at Subpixel Team. We like to post a lot of things on there. Other projects we're following, like the brand new Noclip doc on Creative Assembly. Uh, new projects we've got coming up. We post ahead of time for our streams. Like uh, a couple hours ago, we posted that we're going to be streaming Neo Geo. Uh, speaking of streams, Thursday is the return to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, Episode 2 of Season 2 of Subpixel Inc. How do you think that series is going so far? Uh, fantastic. I keep wanting to really play Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I'm pent. Mm -hmm. Penting it up, penting it up. I'm penting it up. Right. I did make I did make Thursday. one design out outside of the save, <gasps> which you're allowed to do. You make the design, oh, you excited. save the design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like the the, the shocked voice. Yep, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, and then Saturday, like we said, is fiasco. Um, Ooh. Will people can find you on Twitter at hunt270. Is there anything in particular that you would like to promote? Um, I would like to promote, you know. Our Lord and Savior. No, um, tomorrow, probably around 2, it's usually when I stream. I don't know what I'm going to play yet. I don't know. I, I keep writing down Star Wars Dark Forces, so I'll probably play that, but might play something else random on GOG. But, yeah, tomorrow at 2, 
I'll be streaming on Twitch and Mixair. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, that's about all it. That sounds like fun. And um, you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Um, folks, thank you so much for watching. I don't have any final words. This is, of course, our very last stream. I'm going to die right after this. Will, do you have any final words for yourself? Uh, uh, Ian, I've always hated you. Yep, that sounds about right. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.